Hello. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your drum kit, change a sample and create tuned percussion in patterning. So far, we're using the default sounds. If we hit drum kit up here, we have a lot of different sounds that we can download for free. Let's just hit here a few. If you want to look for different drum kits, you just go to browse drum kits here. And there's a lot of different categories you can choose from with a lot of different sounds. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. Right. If we go back to pattern and a way to change the sample is clicking on one of the kit components and you hit up here and it opens this folder of all the different sounds from all the different kits that you have. And when I hit it, you can try out all the sounds before you add it into your kit. So I'm gonna go with this one because we're gonna create some tuned percussion. Hit close. So now this sound is now in our beat. Let's hear what it sounds like. I just hit in some random notes there. Excellent. And so under this section here, so each kit component has a few different menus. On the same one as the sample, which is this one here, we have a bunch of different things that we can see here. Uh, I'm going to go to coarse tuning and what coarse tuning does when I move my finger, it changes the note. Now the note changes a little bit random at the moment. So there's this tiny little circle here and I'll press that and it opens up this keyboard thing. So now I can put in a chord. Let's put in something like a, a C minor seven or something. I can put in that chord. And now when I move my finger on the course tuning, we get we get a C minor chord there. But you don't want to be moving your finger on here all the time. So we'll come to this section. So this kit components menu over here, this last one here. And we go to layer and course tune. And now we can draw in different layers of different tunings and see what it sounds like. And just use your ears. That sounds good to me. Let's try it with a different part of the kit. Let's go to kick and let's course tune this. See what different melodic variations this gives. And also not forgetting that we need to input a little chord here. C minor seven. And let's see how it sounds like. That might not come through because we don't have headphones. <laughs> um, okay. 
the next thing I wanted to show you with some automation was a thing called Ratchet. Now we might hear hi-hats that go a bit crazy in today's uh, pop songs. And so I'm going to go to the hi-hat and I'm going to go to this, the hi-hat com component, this menu, down to a thing called Ratchet Count. Now what Ratchet Count does is when I tune it up, it creates even more notes in every 16th. So these used to be 16th notes and now that's split into three, that one's split into two, and that one's split into five. Let's see what that sounds like. So that is good for creating drum rolls. Let's try it on one of the snares. Just create, make that one into two. So that is how you create some tune percussion on patterning. Once you have your one course tune, obviously you can duplicate it and create a different one. And so now when we press these buttons, We'll go to song mode and go between B1 and B2. We now have two different patterns with two different tune percussions. Why don't you try this at home? <laughs> 